Besides making completely uh, round forms where you, you add two balls face to face like this, you could make uh, shapes that are different. So I'm going to have us make an animal. Um, so I've created a little, little birdie here. Um, but I didn't start with round forms to make this. What I started with, instead of starting with balls of clay, I started with these kind of oblongs of clay. And I just adjusted my pinching. So this is the bottom, right? This is the thickest part. I'm starting from the bottom and then I'm working my way up, but I'm uneven, right? When I get over here, I'm pinching into kind of an oval or um, teardrop kind of shape. So now I've ended up, I'm, I'm checking my wall thickness. I'm feeling with my fingers to feel how thick that is, but I've ended up with a I don't know, half an egg, a teardrop kind of shape. And I've got another one here, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one. You could do this with an oval. Um, you could, I don't know, what other shapes could you do? I suppose you could do kind of a squarish shape. Um, just beware that as you pinch, you want to keep those wall thicknesses the same all the way around. So I'm working my way from the bottom, around, and up. And uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I've got a lot more practice than you. So I'm whipping this thing out fairly quickly because I've done this hundreds and thousands of times. So if I've managed to make them roughly the same size, I can now put them together. Um, and because they're both really wet and I'm gonna continue squishing them, I don't need to score and slip. If yours are a little drier, you're welcome to score and slip, but you're gonna wanna make sure that that um, attachment, that rim is sealed up all the way around. So I'm gently working, I'm holding it gently in my hands so it doesn't squish. Sorry, you gotta look at the camera too. So I can see that I have my piece in the middle of the camera. And then I'm gonna use a paddle to shape this. Now, you all may not have a paddle. Um, I've got a, a one I purchased. Um, this, is, this is like a sock thing you can purchase for it. Um, but I'm gonna paddle this um, outside edge here to get it better into shape. Other tools you can use to paddle. You have a, uh, a, a spoon, um, so you have a wooden rib. You can use this, and you can use this to help pound it into shape. I have a balloon here, right? This is a contained air pocket inside, and so as long as I'm gentle and I push all the way around, I'm not gonna squish this completely flat. If you don't particularly like using the, the wooden rib, um, a wooden spoon is great um, if you, have an extra one. Um, you need something that's not gonna stick to it. So a plastic spoon isn't great because it's gonna tend to stick. Um, I suppose if you put um, a sock on your 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 uh, plastic spoon, it might work just fine. Um, but the wood absorbs the water and, and so doesn't stick. You've also got two other tools that are useful for this. You've got your serrated rib, that's the sharp rib, and you can use that to quickly uh, scrape the surface and when you're scraping the surface what you're essentially doing is scraping away the high clay and leaving the lower clay. If you go kind of crossways like I'm doing here you can um, also like you don't if you go going over bumps always in the same direction you're going to tend to go bump 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 bump. If you cross them if you go crossways across them you're going to tend to smooth them away. Now it, I know this doesn't look very smooth now um, but when I come back to it with my my smooth rib, which is clean on this side, um, once I smooth that, and notice I'm dragging, I'm, I don't have it balanced like this, I'm push, I'm laying the rib against the clay, that's going to smooth um, this surface out. And you can see that my surface is a lot more even since I used the, the paddle and the, the other rib. Now we're going to switch over to this one, which I've already done some more smoothing on. I also kind of thinned out the little tail. And then I made a smaller pinch bowl that's the head. I happened to bend out the sides because I had a little extra, and then I've already scored here. Uh, this part, I just added a little bit of clay. Um, I'll show you that on another one here. If you want to add clay, you can do this like a, like a lid, right? You can add a little bit of scoring, a little bit of slipping, and then if you have whatever it is you're adding, you can press it on there. If you've got enough clay, you can um, squeeze the side. This one doesn't have quite enough clay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of clay. And here's actually where those rubber tip tools are pretty awesome, um, or the wooden sticks that come in your kit from the bookstore, or your non-glaze kit. You already got rubber tips in that kit. 
um, and sticks. So you can use those to smooth away. That's essentially what I did on the beak here. Now, I originally had planned to put the head here, but I'm actually, as I've sat with it, I think I prefer it to be up here. So I've scored, but I wanna change where I'm scoring. So I'm gonna grab my scoring tool here and score. It's, like, it's okay if I'm a little bit messy on my scoring because I am going to um, smooth it again later. Um, it's a good idea when you're adding slip to add it to the drier of the two if you if one of them is drier. If neither if they're both the same amount of wet, you can add them both. And now that I'm going to put this on here, I actually don't need this extra clay right here. Um, it, it's fine to leave it, uh, but I don't need it to be like I can make this whole bird a little bit lighter if I just cut that extra clay out. So I'm going to cut away that extra clay. Nobody's going to see it, so I'm not going to bother making it real nice. And then I'm going to work on smoothing this head in place. So you can use this technique to make lots of different animals. Um, I've made a little bird. Uh, I'm going to maybe work on do, working on some wings. I can use a rib to kind of start to shape um, the wing. I can use texture tools to add, uh, add texture. So I'm just kind of roughing it in. I'll work on it a bit more later.